What I want to do today is connect our Airtable app to OpenAI and Google Docs so that whenever a new record is added to our Airtable account, ChatGPT will create an outline at the bottom of our selected Google Doc. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Airtable to trigger a conversation in ChatGPT, I'll need to use Airtable as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Record as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Airtable sees a new record is created, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Airtable, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Airtable account. In order to connect Airtable to Zapier, we'll need to copy our API token into the authorization screen. To do this, go to your Airtable page, click on your profile icon in the top right-hand side of the screen, and then click Account. Next, copy the key that is given to you, go back to your authorization screen, and then paste the key. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to fill out our trigger apps data. Select the base and table you'd like to use for your zap and click continue. In order to finish setting up this trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in ChatGPT into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Conversation and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Airtable account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the drop-down. Click Create New Secret Key and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under User Message, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type Outline this blog post for me, and then I'll click Description under the dropdown and click Continue. Click Test Action, and we can move on to our second action step. OpenAI will create our summary, but we'll need to make sure it appears on our Google Docs app. To do this, click the plus button on the bottom of the screen and type Google Docs into the search bar. Click Append Text to Document and click Continue. Log into your account once more, click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Document Name, select the document you like to use for your zap, and then under Text to Append, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type Blog Outline, and then I'll click Assistant Response Message, and then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever a new record is added to our Airtable account, ChatGPT will create an outline at the bottom of our selected Google Doc. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier could do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.